all the other questions, other questions you got wrong. If you need a hard copy, you just uh, you just uh, you just uh, download from the paper from the chat box. If you if you use the iPad, you know. first twenty questions. Okay, first twenty questions. Everybody. the first 20 questions okay for in your chat box in the chat box okay 2718 mc stands for what you put transfer paper
Manisha, can we check answers now for the audio for the first 20 questions? Some more time, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe three more minutes, maybe.
Okay, so uh, now you can see the answers of the first and twenty questions. You just check. It's just a check you just said. Uh, let me know like the questions you got from so I can I can have X of Y. You guess. Okay, first of twenty. First of twenty. So here. If you get anything wrong, you just uh, like uh, you put the the question like the number into the chat box so I can kind know of which question I need to explain a little bit for you guys. Okay, so which question, guess which question? Just tell me which questions you got wrong. Okay, I can explain. Which questions? Okay, so first student, okay, Jason, did you get him as you know, first 20 questions? So you got all right. Nothing? Why you shake your hand? Did you finish? You did? Yeah, you finished. So, so which question you got wrong? Just, 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 just one question. Just, just one. Just, just one. Anything you want me to explain a little bit? 
Nothing, so you got all right, right? You got 20 questions, right? No, what do you mean? I got some wrong, so like which one? Which one? Okay, okay, four questions, four questions. Let's take something like these are four questions. What? Okay, number two, number seven, number 11, number 16, 17, right? So let's, uh, everybody, let's uh, see. Let's see question number two. So the question number two, uh, you should be very careful because the question number two, the second column here, you see, is a, is a, the second column here is a, uh, uh, show you guys is a total benefit. Total benefit. Okay, like when you like uh, reduce the two tons of pollution, the total benefit you can get is a 550 total. Total, this is not the marginal. So first step you need to calculate what is the marginal, what is the additional benefit by by reducing, by animating the every, each and every unit of a pollution. So you just do some simple calculations to get the marginal benefit, because we need to do marginal analysis. Okay, let's, uh, let me show you. Okay, so select the marginal. A benefit of animating the first atomic pollution is 300, right? Because a 300 minus a zero is a 300. So here, 550 minus a 300 is a 250. So how you interpret, how you understand 250 here to reduce the second, pay attention to here, to reduce the second ton of pollution, the second, not the total, only two units, okay? the second unit of the pollution, the marginal uh, benefit we can get is a 250. What about the third one? So 650 minus 550 is 100. Okay, this is the benefits we can get. But the marginal cost, but the additional cost, the marginal cost for any making every every additional unit of a pollution is 150. So so at a most so at a most you can animate like a two tons of two units of a pollution. You cannot you shouldn't you shouldn't like 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 do the third unit. Why? Because if you do the third units, the marginal benefit you can get only is a hundred, but the marginal cost you to pay, the additional cost you to pay for the third unit is a hundred fifty. You see, you will lose like a, like a fifty. You will lose a fifty like 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 dollars. Okay, so the answer should be should be D. Okay, so at most you just reduce, you just animate two totally two units of pollution. You cannot do the third one, okay? Because the marginal benefit of reducing the third unit of pollution is even lower than the marginal cost. Okay, so the answer is D. Okay, so next question is seven. The A, the average fixed cost uh, of producing four units of output. Okay, so when you do this, average of fixed cost when you're producing four units. Okay, so AFC, so AFC just equal to ATC minus ABC. You just apply this. These are two numbers into this formula because the ATC is 75 minus AVC, AVC is 45. So I guess if for sure you can calculate, you can calculate this is a, this is things, right? 75 minus 45 is a, is a 30. So the answer is E. Okay, question seven, the answer is E. Okay, just a 75 minus 45. So next question is number 11. 
which of the following is a uh, carries uh, a state of a firm in perfect competition? Okay, firms in perfect compact firms, they don't do any collusion. Okay, game theory. When we learn game theory in only gap play market, in only gap play market, like in those number 10, I guess, in those number 10, we learn collusion. When we do game theory, we learn this term collusion behavior. Okay, so it has no relationship, has no relationship with a perfect competition. Perfect competition is a we learned about this in notes number eight. Okay, facing significant barriers to entry now. No. Because the goods and the services are produced by perfect competitor, competitive firm, just some simple products, really, really simple daily use of products, and not as those uh, high-tech, very complicated uh, products. So if if a lot of firms can produce a, produce a, 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 any kind of a products, so the products must be some simple things. So the barriers for new firms who want to enter into a perfect competition is super low. So it cannot be very hard because you cannot choose to be setting the market price. No perfect competition has no pricing power. Perfect competition has no pricing power. Firms in profit competition has no pricing power. So they cannot set a market price. Only by contrast, only monopoly. You guys know what is a monopoly, right? If there is a single firm, if there is a single firm who can control a hundred percent market share, okay, then, then that firm is a kind of a monopoly, really can set the market price. Then you have market pricing power. Number D, produce identical products. Okay, this one totally right. Producing identical products. Okay, this one totally right. Earning positive long run economic profit. No. Like in long run equilibrium, in long run equilibrium, ATC, okay, must be tangent with the demand curve. Okay, ATC must be tangent with the demand curve. Okay, so if ATC equals the demand curve, so everybody, all the firms in this industry can make zero economic profit, not a positive. Okay, so the answer is D. Okay, the last question number 17. So in the rental housing market, what will be the effect of a rent control? So rent control, really the key word is rent control. Like as a government, you want to rent, rent control the, the, the rent, the, the price a little bit, right? So this is actually, it's a price ceiling policy. Okay, this is actually a price ceiling policy, right? Price ceiling policy. Number, we learned about this in those number two. In those number two, we learned a price of fixing policy, like a price of floor and a price of ceiling. Okay, so if we if we want to if we need to draw a graph for price ceiling policy to be effective to be binding price ceiling, the price ceiling must be must be what? It must be lower than the lower than the equilibrium price, right? Must be lower than the equilibrium price. Because the goal of the government is to lower the price a little bit. So the price is saying it must be lower than the initial piece of dollar. Okay, and, and after and after this policy, see the price has been lowered, so quantity demanded greater than quantity supplied. So the gap here is a kind of shortage. Okay, so the gap is so the difference between these two points. Two points is called shortage. Okay, and the quantity actually can be treated after price ceiling is here. Okay, so this is other things you need to know. Uh, so we train so right. Oh, 
So, but but the rent control that was set at at the market equilibrium price. So we mentioned we what we reviewed here is to be effective, price setting must be lower, right? Must be lower than the lower than the P star. Here, B must be lower. Okay, must be lower. If you set the market price rent control exactly at okay equals to the original P star, the policy has no effects. Okay, the policy has no effects on the market. So I guess the answer should be C. So actually it's a non-binding policy. Okay, so the price of any actually is a non-binding policy. Any other questions? So this uh so we finished your first of four questions. Any other thing? Okay, Kevin. Kevin, did you do you have any question go wrong? Uh I I got this wrong. I got question uh question nineteen wrong. Nineteen. Yeah. Okay, like in all of the following counts a right word shift. Okay, right word shift. So this one tells te te you about shifting, right? So the really, really the first keyword is a shifting. It's a, it's a shift. Okay, this this question actually is a, it's a, it's a very is is a good question. So guess in notes number two, in notes number two we mentioned a very, very important thing, super important thing. It's, a, it's, a, the, it's a, about the difference between shifting and movement. The difference between shifting and movement. Okay, this is, this is the most, really, the, trust me, this is the most, 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 most important thing you to remember, okay, in, in, in microeconomics. How the difference between shifting and movement? What is a shifting? So shifting, like you shift, okay, like like the entire demand curve, like a parallelly to right, like this is a kind of shifting. But what is a movement? What is a movement? Movement means a consumption point moves along this demand curve. Moves along this existing demand curve. Okay, so left hand side is this trend called shifting, right hand side is this trend called movement. And then the only one reason, the only one reason why you have movement, why you do movement here is that is the change, is the change. Uh, uh, of the on price, okay. So my graph, my example here, okay. If the on price has been lowered, consumer consumers they buy more. Okay, the on price on the vertical axis you go down, okay, representing if the on price has been lowered, people buy more. So you do movement. Okay, but on your left hand side, when you do shifting, is assuming assuming the on price has been is a fixed here. You see, there is no change in on price, right? On price here fixed. There are some other reasons. There are some other reasons besides the on price changes. There are some other reasons. Why you want to buy more, why you want to buy less? In in those number two, we mentioned okay, as a consumer, as a consumer, we do a lot of uh, make a lot of uh, like a consumption, consumption decisions, right? Do you only consider the price 
like when you make a decision, like which which item, which thing, which kind of goods and services you want to buy, did you only did you guess only do you guess only consider the price level? I guess not. Beside the price, you consider you think about a lot of other factors. If you want to dine out for tonight's dinner, right? Do you consider the price? Yes, you consider the price. But before the beside the price, you consider a lot of other factors, like how far is the restaurant, how good is the environment, yeah, how good is the service is is the service of in in that restaurant, right? Can I easily can I easily uh, get uh, have the access to the to the parking? All these, all these things you consider all these factors. Okay, so so let's yeah, this is a review about the difference between movement and shifting. Okay, so the question nineteen is of the following causes a right word shift in the demand schedule for a normal good for a normal good. So the actually the answer should be a a decrease in the price of the good. Because we already reviewed our definition, the price, okay, if there is a decrease in the on price of the good, you should do, you should do movement instead of shifting. Okay, if you want to graphically like represent A, you should do once again movement. Okay, but I guess the B, C, D, E always about shifting. A decrease in the price of a complementary good. You see, it's a it's a factor. A bit, it's, it's not about the on price change, right? it's an, another factor. The price of a substitution, your income, your preference. You see, all these four factors here, four factors here. Is is something other than other than on price change? Is it something other than other than on price change? Okay, so this for B C D E is about shifting. Okay, but the first one is a is a, is about movement. Okay, so this is a question marking. Any other? Okay, Daniel, any questions have got wrong? Nothing. So you've got all right. No. Okay, so which question you but the questions I got wrong uh reviewed already reviewed really. Okay. That's a selling. Any questions you got wrong? Any, any questions you got wrong? Nothing. So you got our question right. Okay, then you who any questions you got wrong? So 
close. Like how already photo is already. Okay, then if you have no other questions, let's move on to the next 20 questions. Okay, give you guys another 20 minutes. Okay, let's do it from 21 to 40. Okay, let's do from 21 to 40.
and I go to the washroom. I go to the washroom. Yes, yes, okay, yes, washroom. Finish. On 21 to 40, can we check answers?
Okay, let me check answers. Uh, from uh, from twenty one to forty nine. You check your answers and then tell me which one you got wrong.
Okay, so which question? Which question you call you guys go wrong? Just let me know. From twenty one to forty. Okay, Jason, Jason, which question will go wrong? Twenty six to twenty nine. Let's see twenty six. Uh, twenty six actually is a is a, is a super easy kind of a just a kind of a just a memorize of stuff because the twenty six a monopoly always produces the upper half of the domain curve. The upper half part of their domain curve. Okay, so so for a single for a single firm for a monopoly firm, right? Their demand curve, the demand curve is a downward sloping curve, and the marginal revenue curve is a bisector line, right? The bisector line. Uh, and the upper half part, okay, just as the upper half part, the the the, the part above the, the midpoint. Okay, so there is E D greater than one. If E D greater than one is uh, uh, is a relatively oh wait 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 a monopoly is the demand curve is necessarily oh actually it's an a right actually it's a you forgot <laughs> my bad I forgot this part so so monopoly means a single firm a single firm who can control a hundred percent market share. Single person, yeah. So, so actually, the single firm can represent the the the, the, the whole the market demand. So actually, it's a yeah. So twenty six is a uh, twenty nine. Which of the following is likely to shift an industry labor supply curve to the left? So that means that the labor supply because it to the left, right? So Total market, total labor supply decreases. Okay, so 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 in any given like labor market, what happened is those laborers, those people, they don't they don't willing to work more, or or the or, or the or the total labor supply decreases. So so let's let's see if if number A. A decrease in immigration restrictions. Okay, if the immigration restrictions decreases, decreases, that means that the labor from foreign countries will increase. If more and more foreign workers, foreign laborers are willing to like immigrant, uh, immigrate to Canada. So the foreign labor supply will increase, not to decrease. So we cannot choose say number B a decrease in the cost of a child care. Okay, so 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 all the all the all uh, all the measures, all the measures are uh, uh, as if you send their send their uh, children to the to the daycare center. Yeah, so they have more time to to work. So we cannot choose B. In that case, labor supply will increase. Number C, an increase in the number of remote working jobs. 
So this one is talking about the labor demand, but has no relationship with the labor supply. We cannot to see. D an increase in preference of leisure. So leisure time means uh, means uh, means you means uh, you do you, you don't want to work. You want to uh, more entertainment. Yeah. So 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 we choose D. So people don't willing to work more. Yeah, they want to. They want to have more like a leisure time. Yeah. So the labor supply in, in, in that case, in that situation will decrease. So we choose the an increase of a wage, an increase of a wage. Uh for 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 this one we do movement but not shifting. Okay, if a wage increases, okay, the quantity of labor supply increases. Graphically we do movement instead of shifting. Okay, so the answer is a D. Any other questions? So. I need to go washroom. Yeah, you can go to washroom. You can use washroom. No, no one. Oh, you want to go over? Oh, like okay, 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 okay. Okay. Any any other questions? Daniel, Daniel, do you have any questions? Thirty. Okay, let's do thirty. So thirty based on the graph, the the, the the one of the key informations you can get from the graph is you see marginal social cost. 
marginal social cost is higher than marginal private cost. So MSC is higher than, right? It's higher than PC. So based on these, okay, we know the graph actually represents a negative externality, like something bad, like a secret marking, like a secret marking. So it's a negative externality. So the deadweight loss is, is between two supply curves and above the demand curve. So it's EGH. So the answer should be D. So if you just review, if you review those two graphs we did in November 12, yeah, you can easily get this question right. But in November 12, like the last lecture notes, we only did, we only did a positive graph, negative externality graph. So if MSC is greater than is higher than MPC, right? The total cost bear by the whole society, okay, is greater than your primary cost. So that means that means the goods and services in producing this market is something bad. Okay, any other? So 30 is a D. Any other? Thirty-nine. So go to thirty-nine. Uh, there are four firms in oligopoly industry. Agree to collude. Oh, if they do collusion, okay. If a four firms say they actually do collusion, the market, the market, the nature of the market no longer is a oligopoly market. If they do everything together, if they like uh, uh, choose their business strategies collectively, they do collusion, like they increase the price together, they decrease the price together. So actually the nature market already like becomes a monopoly market. So if one of the firms, yeah, 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 do cheating, Okay, so first step for sure is a firm who did cheating will make more money, right? That 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 is intensive, right? Why 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 you why you why you cheat? Why 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 you cheat like a, uh, um, why why you break the, the agreement? Why you cheat? 
uh, to to other three firms because so, you got intensive, you highly intensive. Okay, to 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 do cheating because you can make more money. Okay, so we can cross out here as a C and D. We can cross the C and D. You do cheat because you if you do cheat, you can make more money. Okay, so in long run, the industry profit will be lower, right? If you, if if you guys like the, the actually do collusion, like every uh, all the firms follow actually follow the agreement, so the nature of the market is a monopoly. But if someone do cheating, actually the the the, the nature of the uh, uh market uh, is a monopolistic, is a monopolistic market. So the degree of competition increases. Okay, so the degree of competition increases. So the industry profit will be lower. So I guess it's the egg. Now let's repeat again. If Z, if everyone, if all the firms actually follow the agreement they made, that means the market is a monopoly. If someone do cheating, if someone did cheating, that the, the nature of a market is a is a is an oligopoly market. So the degree of competition in that industry increases. Okay, so the profit in this industry uh, earned by all four firms together will decrease because of the degree of competition has been increased. Yeah, if if one firm actually uh, actually cheats, the next one. No answers. If no other questions, have you? Uh, we have twenty questions left. You can practice. Yeah, you can practice in another twenty questions uh, as your homework. Uh, besides that, have you send you one more paper? So the first one is a Tuesday 18, another paper is a Tuesday 17. So this week, yeah, you totally, you need to finish like 80 questions. Okay, 60 more here in your Tuesday 17 paper. And we got 20 questions left from a Tuesday 18 paper. Yeah, in your chat box, you can get to Tuesday 17. That's it. If you don't have questions, you can leave. If you have questions, you can stay here. Thank you. Bye.